All right, so today we have another oil change video for you, a how-to on the C4600. Now, what we have here is a 2020 model single-seater, but this goes for the 2020 model, 2021, 600 C-Force, single seat and two up models. So if you have any of those models, this is exactly what you need to know on how to do a oil change on your 600. And uh, you can get your oil change kit, MSC oil change kit at Main Street Cycle. Just call the number down in the description. Also, I encourage you to go visit their website at Main Street Cycle. Dot com. So we're going to use that kit today and show you with Mr. Joel on how to properly change your oil and take care of your C4600. So let's get to it. All right, so as always, remember that you can do this oil change with your machine sitting on the ground without even jacking it up. You don't have to remove any tires. It's very simple to do on your CF Moto C4600. But just for uh, visual purposes where we can get under here and really show you everything, we have it lifted up. So, Mr. Joel, let's uh, let's change this oil. All right. First thing, straight under the bottom, 17 millimeter. Straight under the bottom, there's only one under here. All right, 17 millimeter. So we're gonna drain this. All right, so just to remind you as we're letting this drain to make sure that you clean up around here and uh, make sure that there's not any loose debris and stuff so that when you go back with your drain plug, you won't get any dirt or grime or any grit into your, uh, on your drain plug when you put it back in. So, anyways. On your washer, after you get it out and get it cleaned up good, you put your new washer on, it'll come in with your kit. Like he said, just make sure it's clean up in here so you don't shove no dirt up in here. And then we're going to tighten this and it's 22 foot pounds of torque on this. All right. That's it. 22 foot pounds of torque on your drain bed. All right, now we're doing our oil filtering on this side cover here. To get it off, you'll pop this up here in the back and then you'll slide the hole plate backwards. If not, you'll break these tabs off. Yeah, don't want to do that. <laughs> and then these here are eight millimeter to your oil filter. All right, and just keep in mind that you'll make a little bit of a mess here. There's really no way around that. So make sure you try to have something in place, an oil pan, catch can of some sort underneath uh, the oil filter cap and so you can catch some of that and put some rags there as well. When you get done you clean your cover up real good. And then we're going to change our washer or o-ring out that comes with our kit also. We got our new oil filter. Just goes in with the open end in the inside. It won't go in any other way though. This is 7.3 foot pounds on these three eight millimeter bolts. So we understand that, you know, not everybody's going to have a torque wrench, you know, in their home garage if you're trying to do this on your own. But I mean, if you can, that is always best scenario is to torque it to the correct specs. But if you don't, Joel, they just need to be real careful to make sure that they maybe even use a quarter inch drive ratchet yeah. and just don't over tighten these eight millimeter bolts. 7.3 foot pounds of torque is not much, is it? Not much at all. And we're gonna fill our oil back up. 
And, and as always, like just like up, up top here, we want you to make sure that you keep everything clean. You don't want to drop any dirt or debris down inside uh, where we're going to be uh, put it filling with oil. All right, now we're going to fill it, fill it back up with oil. And the capacity on, uh, yeah, I know that you get three full liters with your MSC oil change kit. Uh, what What's the capacity on the C4 600? 2.83 liters. Okay. Almost three, three full. Yeah, that's <laughs> right at using all three bottles for sure. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, as you're filling it up, it won't be all, it, you won't use every bit of that lat third bottle but you'll be right there at it and uh this is the good stuff man <clears throat> we've had nothing but good experiences with our engines here uh with the, all these all the oil changes we've had a few with a ton of miles haven't we yeah yeah no issues like we always say, if you take care of your CF, CF Moto, I'm telling you, it will last and uh, it will take care of you. So Joel's putting in the third liter here. And he's going to add almost every bit of this third liter. Just take your time. Don't spill it. And uh, remember, the cleaner the area, the better. And just another reminder, if you're still watching, that this is uh, for the two-up version, the single-seat version, 2020 model, 2021. And if there's no changes on the 2022 model, uh, this will be the same procedure. All right. So let's make sure it all drains in. Putting the... Clean dipstick back in. Then we'll crank it, run it for a minute, then we'll check it again and make sure it's full after it fills all up. Okay. So Joel recommends that you, you run it for just a, a minute and uh, just to circulate the oil so that we can check it and get a proper level. Check it. Get you a clean rag so you ain't wiping no dirt on your dipstick. Pull it out, clean it off good. And when you go to check it, you're gonna just push it into the thread. You're not gonna screw it in. Just down to the threads, pull it out. And it right here is full and it's right on your full mark. Good deal. Well, and that's an oil change on a CF Moto C4 600. So, uh, just another reminder, if, uh, if you need an oil change kit, just call the number down in the description, call Main Street Cycle, and order your C4600 MSC oil change kit. It'll come with everything that you need, and hopefully this video has given you the confidence to be able to change your own oil and oil filter. But if not, remember that Main Street Cycle is uh, worth the drive in my opinion. They got the best mechanics to take care of your CF Moto and uh, it'll be serviced the right way and taken care of and keep your machine in tip top shape. But as always guys, we appreciate you watching. Thank you. God bless and remember to keep it real.